So, so in the same video, we will be just coding all these three types of roads. And I will just start by determining the quantity of different materials in, in you can say, earthen road. And we will have just a simple example over here. You can see I have just this water bound macadam road. Okay. So let's say we have an example and the road length that is just known, okay, which is one kilometer. This is simple. Now, the water bound mechanism road and some components, uh, everybody should, should be familiar with the components such as subgrade, subbase, base, and then maybe surfacing or topping. If you don't know about these things and what they are made of, you can watch a, uh, you can say a separate video on my channel, okay, related to road structure. This time we are just learning quantity surveying, okay? So I'm not gonna discuss all the terminologies related to road. All right, so we have the base, which is actually 3.5 and that is meter, okay? So, so this is just the breadth or maybe the, the weight of the base layer. And the base layer that is 10 centimeter thick. And we have, of course, the sub base, which is 20 centimeter thick. And actually those extensions, those are uh, 50 centimeters or maybe you can say 60 inches, okay? And to the other side, I mean, to both sides of the base layer. So we can have actually the, the weight of the sub base. That's very simple. All right, just moving ahead to the solution. And in the solution, as you can see, we we can have this solution in a table, in a nice table. You can even calculate these things in Excel format, okay? Next example will be uh, in Excel. So we can uh, learn how to use uh, Excel in order to determine the quantities of different materials in road, okay? Let's say we have the same table and you guys are just familiar with this yeah. because uh, we have done this thing before, even before, okay, uh, for the building estimation. The, the first thing which we have is actually the description, then we have the number of the member, length, breadth, height, and then the quantities and uh, remarks just for detailings. And the first thing, as you can see, we have subgrade. It means that subgrade preparation is important okay you can say the dressing up subgrade and if there are any trees maybe uh, rocks okay those are just removed even at this stage you can say in in preparation of subgrade gradient and camber is just considered okay the, this layer so subgrade can be actually the natural ground level as well but when you prepare that then that is just known by the subgrade is that clear Hello, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so by subgrade preparation and dressing, I mean everything related to subgrade, right? And in number, this should be one because we have only one road that is just earth and earth, you can say water bound by up road. And that should be one. Now the length of the road that is known, which is one kilometer, it means just thousand meters because the, the other information uh, we will be just converting them into the the uh, meters. That's why the length should be in meters as well, okay? Now, the breadth of subgrade, that is just known if you see in the diagram, that is 3.5 plus 15 centimeters and 15 centimeters to another side, okay? That means the breadth of the uh, subgrade should be 3.8. And that's because if you see, we have 3.5, that one, we will add 15 centimeters to both sides. And this is the same thing, okay? As you can see, we have 3.5, uh, 8, I mean. And the height of subgrade. So subgrade is a surface, a, a, you can say prepared surface or dressed surface. Uh, so surface does not have actually a uh, thickness or maybe the height, okay? So it means there is no thickness or height. It means the, the subgrade is calculated in terms of area, okay? That's why area is very important, okay? So we will just multiply these three columns in order to have the quantity of the subgrade. And this should be actually uh, 3,800 square meters. Very simple and straightforward. Next, as you can see, we have the sub base, which is, you can say the, the, the first component or maybe the, the second component just laid above the subgrade, okay? So for the subgrade, uh, I mean subbase material, it means just providing materials for subbase. And by providing, I mean, uh, uh, okay, having materials according to the specifications. Okay, you have to look uh, or read the specification 
uh, for the same layer, okay, which is sub-base, okay? So sub-base material means just to carry or just to buy, okay, just to bring materials on the roadside, okay, according to the specifications. Again, in number, it should be one. The length is just one kilometers, okay? The sub-base uh, weight or bread, that is just the same as subgrade. Okay. However, there is a height which is actually 20 centimeters. Okay. Now here is a point. I'm not gonna take 20 centimeters. Why? The height should be actually something different. Okay, which should be 0 0.30. Now, why? It is very important, as you can see. The, this the, the 20 centimeter or maybe 10 centimeters, okay. These videos are according to the drawings, which means they are already, you can say, considered as constructed road, okay? So it means there can be a consolidation or maybe compaction of the material. And after compaction, as you can see, we lose the, the depth of the layer, okay? And, and this shortage or maybe this decrease can be actually 50%, okay, after compaction. I mean, if we just lay materials, let's say if the materials are laid for uh, 20 centimeters, okay? After compaction, they will become actually 10 centimeters because there are wides, okay, in the materials. So when you compact it with rulers maybe, then 20 centimeter become actually 10 centimeters. That's why in advance, it's necessary to add 10 centimeters, okay? Now, as you can see, we have 20 centimeters. So in advance, we will add actually 10 centimeters more. It means half of the depth, okay? So half of the depth must be added. That's why I have just added 10 centimeters, okay? Uh, with 20 centimeters, so we have actually, as you can see, 30 centimeters or maybe 0.3 meters, okay? And this is the same process. So just multiply these four columns, you can say the numbers, length, breadth, and height, and we will have actually the quantity, and that's in cubic meter, because this is like maybe we have thickness, so there is volume, right? And next, we have actually labor for spreading and consolidation of the... Now, if you bring in, when you have materials on site, okay, uh, maybe uh, we carry materials are the carriages just done uh, using dumpers, okay? And then locally you can say dinas, okay? Uh, loaders maybe. So they are just, you can say, unloaded on the roadside. Now, labor is required to spread those materials according to the specifications, you can say, okay? Or you can say according to the, the given dimensions. And this is so simple, okay? So this thing, uh, now, it is very important to know that the materials which are just, you can say, brought should be spread, okay? So the same material just spread, it means the quantity should be the same is the sub-base material. It's very simple. Next, we have actually, uh, and, and this is the same thing, okay? And next, we have actually the, the, the base layer, which is, uh, uh, you can say, the top layer for the waterbound macadam road. And the process is just the same. We can have one in number. The length is just 1,000 kilometer, uh, sorry, meters, because it is just uh, one kilometer, okay? One kilometer means 1,000 meters. And as you can see, we are just doing everything in meters. That's why we do this conversion, okay? Now, as you can see, the width that is known, 3.5. However, the depth, that is just 10 centimeters. I'm not gonna take 10 centimeters this time, okay? I'll just take 15 centimeters. Why? Because half of the depth must be added to the original depth due to compaction factor, okay? We have compaction. So it should be 0 0.15 meters or maybe 15 centimeters. Now multiply these four columns, we can have 525 cubic meter is the quantity of base uh, material, you can see. And the material for base should be based on the specification, okay? Now, even labor is just required to spread the base materials, okay? And this is going to be the same quantity as the base layer materials. So same quantity. And, and why same? Because if you have the same material, those material is, is just spread, okay? No extra material or no shortage of the material. 
So that's why we have the same material or maybe the same quantity. And this is 525, okay? Now, once you have these quantities, you can see these quantities, then abstract of cost is just prepared for the road construction or maybe for the uh, road estimation, okay? So let's just move ahead for the abstract of cost. And remember, for this, you have to use MRS. And if you remember, MRS is just been covered in previous video. So I'm not gonna discuss MRS again and again because there's gonna be just one stage of time. You have to look for the same materials in MRS and then you have to look for the composite rate or maybe for the labor rate, okay, in the same MRS. This time, I'm gonna just assume some, some rates you can say, okay, for the same work. So we can carry the abstract of cost, okay? Let's see, as you can see, we are going to just prepare the abstract of cost. And the same thing, we have quantities, you can see it, okay? So we will just add description, then quantities, then again, the unit of quantity, of course, the rate, and then we have actually the total amount in RS, okay? Now, the first thing, as you can see, we have the preparation, uh, you can say the, the dressing or subgrade. Now, the quantity, it was just actually 3,800, and the unit, it is the same thing, okay? However, let's say we have the rate, which is 20 rupees per square meter, okay? It means R is 20 per square meter. Now, it means you have to just multiply this with this, so you can have the total amount, okay? Very simple. That's nothing complicated. And I think I should just move ahead very quickly because this is going to be just uh, the stage of time discussing these things. This is just basic, okay? Now, supplying material based on the, uh, the specifications of the um, sub base material and the unit is again cubic meter and the rate, let's say this is 210 per cubic meter. It means we will just multiply the quantity with the rate so we can have the total amount. Just the same thing, okay? And the labor for spreading and consolidation of sub base material, we have the same quantity in cubic meter. The rate is just different little bit and just multiply the quantity with rate so we can have actually the total amount and so on. You can do it just by yourself. It is just very straightforward. So this is how we can actually prepare the abstract top cost and then actually prepare the uh, material estimation for a waterbound macadam road. Okay. Now I'll be just jumping any um, to uh, actually in AutoCAD, um, and we will have a a nice uh, drawing of a road. Okay, over there, and then we will prepare the uh, abstract of materials in Excel. Okay. But before starting date, let me ask you if you have any question related to this problem. Okay, labor for. Uh... ریڈن <laughs> वो अक्सर आप मैं जरा इसको ड्रा करूं तो शायद आप लोगों को ज्यादा बेहतर समझ आ जाए एक सेकंड मैं जरा ड्रा करूं इस चीज को तो ग्राफिकली मेरे ख्याल से समझ आ जाएगा आप लोगों को फिर यहां पे हमने रोड बनाना है ठीक है यू अब हम क्या करते हैं कि मटेरियल्स को ले आते हैं और यहां पे यू डाल देते हैं इस तरह इस फॉर्म में कुछ यू डाल देते हैं ठीक है ये सवाल किसने पूछा था जी किसने पूछा था सवाल भाई वो बंदा सुन भी रहा है या नहीं तो हम क्या करते हैं इस लोडर के जरिए ये मटेरियल ले आते हैं ना और यहां पे फिर अनलोड कर देते हैं यू अब इन मटेरियल्स को भाई स्प्रेड भी कर देना है उर्दू में इसको क्या कहते हैं स्प्रेडिंग को मतलब हमवार कर देना है इस जगह में ये सारे बैठ में यू हमवार भी कर देना है ना इन मटेरियल को तो इन मटेरियल को कौन हमवार करेगा लेबर ये इस काम के लिए भाई ठीक है ये डिफरेंट इक्विपमेंट्स है हमारे हमारे पास रोड के लिए तो वो इक्विपमेंट कौन चलाएगा ऑपरेट कौन करेगा लेबर ही करेगा इसी वजह से हम लेबर कास्ट को कैलकुलेट करते हैं क्योंकि इन मटेरियल को स्प्रेड किया जाता है अगर आप सेक्शन में देख ले 
तो किसी महसूस डेप्थ में इनको हम क्या करते हैं स्प्रेड कर देते हैं इसको कहते हैं लेबर फॉर स्प्रेडिंग ठीक है ठीक है सर समझ आ गया चलो गुड हो गया ओके मैं इसको खत्म कर दू अब मेरे पास आर्टिकेट में आप लोग इस सेक्शन को देख ले ये एक सिंपल सा सेक्शन है 